Hello, hi, welcome back to Vegas Dolls. How are you guys doing? I'm trying out this new camera. Is it working? Is it beeping red and blinking? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> welcome back to Vegas Dolls show. Camera malfunction. You're probably wondering why, but why I'm wearing a beanie today. Well, you know, I'm not going to tell you that's why. Bad <laughs> day. <laughs> Bad hair day, I guess. I need a haircut is what it is, but... Anyways, today, so sorry to upload yesterday, Friday. Welcome to Saturday. Uh, yesterday, Friday, I was sicker than a doll. I'm still feeling, not feeling good. Um, I had uh, uh, plans for last night. I couldn't even, I pick up uh, my mom from work. I couldn't even go get her. Uh, unfortunately, she had to call uh, Lyft. But they're all over Vegas, so what do you know? Anyways. No, I'm feeling a little bit better today. Yesterday was just not not good. So today uh, is Saturday. I've had the day off. Um, not really doing much. I went out shopping. I'm trying out a new camera. Um, and on um, the next thing on my list is lighting. <laughs> I hope the lighting's good. Uh, otherwise, I will start recording my videos in the daytime. No, I'm gonna get a ring light. Anyways, today's show. Is all about Twilight Saga, Breaking Dawn Part Three. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. They're never gonna make Breaking Dawn Part Three. Stephanie Meyer made that well known. Anyways, no, I was watching the Twilight series today. It's the Forever. I got the Forever like a trilogy pack back when, and I started last night because I was sick and I just couldn't get out of it, I just kept on watching it, so I thought, what better way, what show, better way, yeah, what better way, uh, than to share a couple of my items that I got back in 2010, uh, it was a couple years after Twilight came out, Mattel came out with these, I had the whole set, but I wanted to share with you guys my Alice Eclipse doll, um, we all know Alice can't be by herself. She's got to have Emmett with her. So I thought I'd share these uh, two lovey -doveys. Uh They are no longer available at Mattel, but you could probably get them on eBay. They're like going really cheap now. They're like 10 bucks. They're really cheap. But when I when they first came out, uh, I paid like twenty nine ninety nine. These were like twenty nine ninety nine on a uh, Barbie collector uh, back then. Alice, I didn't get right away. I did have to pay eBay price, and oh, I was not happy about that. But, anyways, uh, today is all about Emma and Alice. I just got done watching, finishing up Breaking Dawn Part 2, and I just love Alice. She was actually my favorite character, believe it or not, um, out of the whole movie. I, I do like Edward and, and Bella and, and Jacob and... You know, Carl and all the the whole clan. Uh, and my favorite Volturian would have to be Dakota Fanning. She played really, really well as Jane. But um, but Alice was my favorite because she could see through the future. She could see all the great things that are going to happen throughout this movie. She can even take down the Voltor with making them believe that if they fight, they go down. So, anyways, let's get on to these dolls. I'll set Emma aside. He's like really, 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 I like him. But anyways, here's Alice. Alice is really, I, I think Barbie did really good on these. I know Toner did some. I got a couple of them. Uh, the Amazon exclusive one, and I didn't get the, uh, the one in the blue dress, but I got, uh, forever, uh, Bella, and then I got the Amazon exclusive, which I'll share those at a later date. But anyways, Alice, they came in the see-through boxes, pink label, uh, Barbie, um, made by Mattel. Uh, she's really, really, really starting her outfit in the Eclipse movie. Uh, they say, uh, this, she says Twilight Sega Eclipse. Uh, it gives her name Alice, and uh, she's got these really cool uh, jeans on. She's got a white shirt uh, there with the ruffles, uh, white and little black striped ruffles. She's got this cute little vest and her cute little white choker. Uh, I love the cut style on her. I love the eyes. I love the pink lips. I love 
her black high heels, if you can see down there in the box, her black high heels. She's in their iconic background scene, the woods, uh, and, uh, forks, uh, yeah, so, this is, uh, Alice, and then, um, of course, it's got the Barbie little lo logo on there, and then the back of the box, it's got a picture of Alice from the movie, it says Alice Twilight Eclipse, uh, and then they have a little, uh, a little sentence or a little, like, little quote from each character. It says, I can handle myself. Uh, uh, and it also says, in Eclipse, Bella once again finds herself surrounded by the danger as Seattle is revenged by a string of mysterious uh, killings. And uh, basically, it just talks about what happens in Eclipse, uh, if you didn't know it, uh, that... It talks more about Brie, and uh, it's just more of, uh, you know, Victoria getting back at uh, Bella. She wants to kill Bella because uh, uh, Edward killed uh, James, her her lover of her life. So, anyways, if you want to read the back of the box, there's a close-up right there. This is the Alice, Alice Barbie Collector doll from 2010. Uh, pink label. The movie was by Summit. Oh, down here it gives you more. Uh, BarbieCollector.com. There's a doll stand. The East Coast Certificate of Authenticity. And, um, yes, yeah, so that is Alice. And now let's get over to Emmett here. Emmett is wearing this nice, nice, uh, set of jeans. He also has a vest on, a black vest. He's got these dark blue, uh, jeans on. He's got his, um, colon wrist cuff uh, bracelet there. He's got a nice little, uh, I would say it's like a, it's a nice dress shirt. Uh, it's kind of like, uh, I don't know the color purple, I would say with black, black lining. Uh, he does have buttons up. It says Emmett right here. Basically, this is from the Twilight Sega, uh, Barbie line. Um, this, uh, she was from the Eclipse line. And then on the back of the box here, it does have a picture of Emmett and to the Twilight Sega. Same quote, uh, same type of quote set up here. It says, the hell you will. I'm not missing another fight. And then it gives his story, actually. And this was really interesting because I want to read his story. Um, I will show you up close if you want to pause and read it. But I'm going to read it uh, to you guys anyways. <laughs> So, anyways, Emmett's story is an action-packed, modern-day vampire love story. The Twilight Saga tells the story of 17-year-old... Well, it's actually Bella and Edward's story, I guess. I thought it was Emmett's, but... 17-year-old Bella Swan, she is drawn to Edward Cullen, a pale, mysterious classmate who seemed determined to push her away, but neither can deny the attraction that pulls them together, even when Edward confines, confines that he and his family are vampires. And they do not... The uh, Colons do not, uh, they're not your typical vampires, though. They actually uh, uh, feed on, uh, like, animals, kind of like how we, animals, they're the same way. That's how they survive. They do not uh, kill, kill people or anything like that, so. But it was a good love. Oh, and then his shoes, he's wearing black suede shoes, same background type theme. Uh, the uh, Forks uh, Forest in Washington, where the movie was based out of. So, um, yeah. But, anyways, that is my little Breaking Dawn Twilight Saga Clips trilogy. Sick, getting over my sickness. No one can ever have enough Twilight in their life. It was a big old thing. Um, I actually got to meet Edward and Bella. Uh, at the San Diego Comic Con, I did not meet all of them because I did not have time because I had to uh, go to, there was another event that was going on there, but it was really rushed. We got signed posters and everything of all the characters, but they they really rushed us, and I'm, a lot of people probably know about it because they went to San Diego Comic Con to meet them. They were there like two or three uh, years in a row. But anyway, Stephanie Meyer did a good job on the books. Barbie did a good job on the dolls, and uh, the actors and actresses did a job, good job putting the movie together. So, uh, this is my doll review for today. I hope tomorrow I'll be feeling better Sunday, and I will 
Don't forget to follow me on all my social media. Like, comment, subscribe. Sorry, this is kind of a little rust. I just am not feeling good. But, uh, I just wanted to test everything out. And I wanted to come on here and I wanted to thank you guys. I'm at 2,000 subscribers. I'm so thankful for that. I love all your support. I know everybody liked the last video. And that was really lovely. Thank you. Until we meet on Sunday, I will talk to you later. Bye.